done that training and working hard, what is it do you think that separates the good players from the great? My very difficult question, but I would have to imagine in my experience that, that that's everything. The good from the great. Um, but you know, certain people might not be able to take that workload because I understand uh, that some players, you know, if, if they worked harder, might fry them out earlier, and they lose, you know, uh, like Nadal. You know, he, the, the kid's an un unbelievable trainer and worker, but there's only so much your body can take of that, and your mind can take of it. So everyone's different. You got to work within what works best for you. But for me, I was at the stage where I was I was ready to work really hard. And I'd gone through a couple of years of coming on the tour where I didn't quite know where I fit in. And after 96, 90, 93 through to 96, you know, I still was hovering. And then I started working really hard in 96, had the results in 97, 98. Um, and then went on through 99, 2000, had some, you know, decent results there as well. Yeah, mate, and, and everyone's got, you know, I stopped at 28 as well because I felt like I'd fried myself out. So I'd had enough of it. So. It's a tough, it's a really tough one. Everyone will deal with different workloads differently.